Good evening humans, Tyrannosaurus Moth here, and tonight we're taking a look at the Power Rangers Lightning Collection Green Zeo Ranger. Now, I wasn't really a fan of Zeo, in fact it's probably one of my least favorite Power Ranger seasons, however, I loved O-Ranger, so there's that. And uh, while I didn't initially like the suits, they've totally grown on me, especially after seeing O-Ranger, so you know, I'm excited to have the whole team. And uh, yeah, it's another solid entry in the uh, Lightning Collection, so let's talk about it. Let's do this. Aesthetically speaking, Zeo Green is much the same that we saw with the other male Zeo Rangers. Actually, I guess all we have right now are male Zeo Rangers, uh, so red and blue. Uh, that is to say, it is built off the standard Lightning Collection male buck, however, with the uh, Zeo Ranger sculpt augmentations up here in the chest area and the tops of the boots and stuff like that. Uh, so, other than that, I mean, as you can see from here, because they're both in frame, they just, they, they all line up, they're all consistent, they all have the gold neck. Um, so everything's consistent, which is good. Uh, unfortunately for me, with green, this is where my, I think I talked about my luck with paint in the Lightning Collection in my video talking about SPD Pink, and <laughs> this is where mine ran out, unfortunately, which is fine. Again, it's not one of my favorite Rangers, so it's not as big of a deal to me, but um, like really thin here on the cuff and the chest, got some just kind of blank spots. And then back here, it looks like it kind of went up a little bit above the line. Uh, and then finally, I got a scuff here. I should probably center it <laughs> on the visor, uh, which is all good. That's all easily fixable. Um, so I'm just gonna try and find some gold paint that matches up. Uh, if you happen to know uh, what shade of gold would work really well on this, then just let me know <laughs> in the comments because I'd greatly appreciate it because I want it to look consistent. And they actually match. I, li I like that with the Zeo Rangers, they're matching the gold on the suit with the belt. Like it just, it looks extra cohesive and wonderful like that. So that's aesthetics. Now is the time in the review where we talk about accessories and Zeo Green comes with pretty much everything you would want and expect him to come with. Uh, starting off with the most obvious, which would be his signature weapons, his axes or hatchets. And um, they look really good. Unfortunately for me, uh, this is where paint defects kind of carry over because um, I got a little missing gold there, which again, once I find the right shade of gold, I don't know why that won't focus. There we go. Um, that's an easy fix. So that is what it is, I'm, but they look great. Uh, handles are a bit thick. I mean, that's probably accurate. Uh, I'm gonna come back to that once we get to the gripping hands. Um, so further on weapons, you get their retractable sword. Uh, non-retractable, they just got the extended version, uh, but painted nicely, looks good. Um, however, there's a lot of people online that are doing 3D prints of the retracted version so you can put it in the holster, so something to look out for online. Um, then we get the blaster, painted really nicely. Uh, unfortunately, paint defects again carry over for me here. There's some weird mark of gray paint. Not a big deal to me, but, you know, again, <laughs> just worth noting. Uh, then we get our blast effect, which I'm getting ahead of myself here. Blast effect goes on the tip of the gun, uh, the, uh, the blaster, and looks really nice. Then we move on to our hands. So right out of the box, we get our gripping hands. Um, slightly different from what we've gotten before, most notably because my favorite part, they both get vertical hinges. All the rangers should be having vertical hinges. They're all weapon, hold, weapon holding hands should have that. So left and right, awesome to see. Just please Hasbro continue this. <laughs> really like to see it. And it just makes things posing and all that just so much easier. Um, other thing worth noting while I'm talking about this is that these were actually, for mine, were like super closed up, like super tight, like more, more like that. And again, because your handle is so thick on the axes, it's going to kind of move them out a bit, which is fine. And they don't, it's not loose or anything, but because of the curl on the fingers, it doesn't really, he doesn't grip around it. He just kind of grips the side of it. So worth noting, not, not a deal breaker by any measure, but you know, just something for you to be aware of. Uh, then we get two fists, which is excellent. They should all come with fists. And I think pretty much all of them do. And then finally we get the civilian head uh, so it's a, with a great likeness of uh, actor Johnny Young Bosch. So they're really doing well with this. I think this is the same head that's coming on the 
um, Metallic Black Ranger, or it might be different. I can't remember off the top of my head. But in any event, they're killing it with that lately. So good job, Hasbro. Moving right along into articulation, as I had said in aesthetics, this is the same buck that they've used for the other Zeo Rangers. So no real big surprises here, just kind of going top to bottom. We have the head, oh, uh, but continuing with this wave, we do get a the helmet sitting higher on the neck. So we get some really good up, some excellent, excellent down, and all the way around, of course, because it is a ball hinge, we get our butterfly joints going in and out. We can come way up, we can pretty much get a Y pose. Um, that looked goofy as hell, sorry. <laughs> and a uh, bicep swivel. We get our double jointed elbows. We get our swivel and hinge at the wrists. Again, gripping hands have the vertical and you got your horizontal on your fists. We have our ball joint, which gives us all sorts of room to go around. We got our crunch, coming forward, all the way back. Then we have our hips with our mediocre splits. Um, again, not that, uh, not the uh, the ones that we got with Dracon Evo 3 or Time Force Red, which gave us really good range. So hopefully we'll see more of that in the future. Double jointed knees. We got our boot swivel. We got our point. We have actually not anything forward. <laughs> and then we got our pivot. And that's articulation. Rounding things out with some size comparisons, here is Zeo Green with the rest of the current Zeo team we have for the Lightning Collection. Here he is with the rest of Power Rangers Lightning Collection Wave 8. Here he is with some random assorted Hasbro stuff. Here he is with some assorted monsters and villains. And finally, here he is with an Articulated Icons Oni and yours truly as an Articulated Icons Ninja. So my final thoughts on Zeo Green is that it's another solid entry into the Lightning Collection. And that's kind of what I like about the collecting the Lightning Collection, is that Super Sentai Power Rangers just really lends itself to a relatively consistent figure line. And that's part of what makes this fun, especially on top of being a Tokusatsu fan and a big fan of Super Sentai. Um, just you more or less know what you're going to get, uh, save for things like Zeo Blue not coming with his tonfas. Um, but, you know, it, that is what it is, and supposedly they're fixing that. That's a whole different story. Uh, so, uh, obviously, if you're a fan of Power Ranger Zeo or you're a fan of O Ranger, uh, absolutely pick this up. And links will, of course, be in the description as they always are. Uh, beyond that, I hope you enjoyed the review and found it informative. If you did, please consider like, liking, commenting, subscribing, and possibly sharing. And uh, if you really like it, if you've been subscribing for a while and you want to help out even more, um, you know, I'll have links for other ways, including links to my music, which, hey, stream my music on Spotify, can't hurt to listen. <laughs> uh, I record as Transdusk, in case you haven't seen previous videos. And uh, so if you like industrial metal, you might like my music. Uh, same, so if you've, the, the intro and outro music are my song, uh, as you can see in the credits. Anyway, I'm digressing. <laughs> Uh, so thank you so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you in the next video. So with that being said, be kind to yourself, be kind to those around you and stay weird, Simeons.